hey hi hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be working on how to flat iron so i start by applying a wax stick to the hairline of my client and i comb it through why the wax stick you may ask because typically most people sweat the quickest around their hairline and the wax stick helps to hold that hair without creating a buildup and it also protects the hair in my opinion. Now I apply my comb and I hold tension with my thumb to each section as I follow behind the comb with my flat iron. Now this is the flat iron that I'm using today. It is a red pencil iron and it is a ceramic iron but I recently became a 100% Babyliss girly and so if you were to come visit me at the salon today I would use this Babyliss Pro titanium half inch iron and they both give great results but I just like to keep a consistent pattern with my products my tools just so I can guarantee my service now after I have silked out the entire hairline I create three sections four sometimes depending on how thick the hair is so that I can easily manage the hair. I ask the client what type of part they like and I use that part as a guide to section ear to ear. So this client likes a left part. I turn her to the mirror, I let her tell me what kind of part she wants because everything is custom around here baby. And then I use that part to section ear to ear and create two sections in the top of her head. Sectioning to me is important because it makes sure or guarantees that you can easily manage those sections. You can guarantee easy, excuse me, even distribution of heat and your products when you apply them because you want a consistent product every time you want quality every time and that's the best way to guarantee that now on this bottom section it still has some of the wax product because this is technically the edge that i just silked out previously so i don't need a lot of heat protectant on this section because the wax is still there okay but on every section, I want you guys to make sure that you are applying a good amount of heat protectant. You should never, ever, ever use a heat tool on your hair or your client's hair without a good heat protectant. And this is my favorite heat protectant. It is the Kendra Platinum Hot Spray. It has up to 450 degree protection. It is a humidity blocker and it has just a little bit of memory in it, which means it's gonna help your style to last. My favorite. Now, once I have sectioned out really a half of inch section, sometimes a little more, a little less, depending on how thick the hair is, I missed that section with my heat protectant and then I get a section that is no wider than my flat iron. I put my comb to the root of the hair and I use my thumb to hold tension as I pull that comb through the section. And right behind that comb is my flat iron. This is what we call the chase method. So you'll see me do two passes only on her root section to make sure that that root stays straight. That root is the newest, thickest, most virgin hair on her head. It's okay to do passes, two passes on her root. So let me show you again. I missed it with my heat protectant. I get a subsection out that is no wider than my flat iron plates. I apply my comb to the root, hold it with my thumb for tension, and I pull everything down chasing the comb. Now this is the best flat iron. I don't care what nobody say, argue with your mama, hands down. 
This is the Nano Titanium Babyliss Pro Flat Iron. Boy, that's a mouthful. These have titanium plates and they get up to 450 degrees. With African American hair, really, really thick, coarse hair, you need a good amount of heat to make sure that you have a good straight flat iron or silk press. Don't be afraid of heat. Just make sure you're using a good heat protectant and make sure that you are only doing one pass. So I've sped this section up so you guys can see, but it's very simple. Mist it with your flat iron, spray your heat protectant, use your comb to hold tension and walk it through. All right, now on this section, I'll give you guys a close up just so you can see the difference between a flat iron section, which is what I'm holding, and a unflat iron section. Excuse me, I said that backwards, but y'all know what I meant, right? So you see me holding tension with my thumb behind the comb, and then you walk it all the way down. My client's hair is so long that it went out of frame, but y'all can see the instant straightness. So look at the section that I just flat ironed versus the section above. This is how your hair should look when you blow dry properly. And I will include a link to my blow dry tutorial so you can get these type of blow dry results because the better you blow dry, the easier your flat iron will be. Now, don't be alarmed. The vapor that you see coming from her hair, that is the heat protectant and that is part of that wax that I put around her hairline. It is supposed to do that. You would rather the heat protectant be burning off as you flat iron than the hair to be immediately burned. This is why a heat protectant is so important. So I am gonna go ahead and finish this right section of her hair, but let's have a chit chat about how I am now seeing the girlies are bringing relaxers back. Has anybody that is a fellow stylist, have y'all seen an influx in relaxers? Now don't get me wrong, I encourage people to do whatever is best for their hair and their lifestyle, and I never had a problem with the relaxer. I understood that people were embracing their natural hair, but people did not understand, clients did not understand the sacrifice and commitment that it took to be natural. Natural hair takes a lot and some people just simply do not have the time to invest and it's okay. So regardless if you are wearing a relaxer or you prefer to have your hair heat trained, because ladies, did you know that with enough heat services done correctly, your hair will become more manageable. Your curl will eventually loosen. So if you have a very tight 4C hair, if you have a very tight, thick, coarse hair, and you don't want a relaxer, but you want more manageability, get into a hair care regimen find you a great stylist that does great hair and she can heat train your hair. A lot of women did not go natural just for the curl. A lot of my clients went natural to stay away from the chemicals because they were unhealthy, but they still wanted that long, straight, silky look. And guess what? All hair that is healthy is beautiful. So y'all do what's best for your hair, okay? If it's heat training, if it's natural curls, if it's locks, if it's a relaxer, as long as it's healthy and it makes you feel beautiful, I say go for it. So let's get back into this flat iron. So as you can see, I am still walking through my small sections. I am clipping the excess hair out of the way, misting it really good with my flat iron spray, my heat protectant. I am applying tension with the comb and I am chasing that comb all the way down. Guys, it takes me a complete 60 minutes to shampoo, condition, 
blow dry and flat iron. Once you find your rhythm and once you perfect this method, there is so much money to be made in just basic silk presses, blowouts, and flat irons. When they are done correctly, people will pay for quality. And when you perfect your technique, you can get it done so quick that the dough is running in. Now, I hope y'all are not just treating these clients like a dollar because they are valuable. But the reality is we're in business to be profitable. So perfect your technique, use great products and great tools, and you will be successful. And if you're watching this as a at-home hair care girly, that's totally fine too. Using this method will keep your hair healthy. It will allow you to have a good consistent flat iron to where you don't have to do it as often. And at the end of the day, like I said, if it makes you feel beautiful, as long as your hair is healthy, go for it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you watch the how to shampoo your hair and how to blow dry your hair so you can have all of the gems. Okay, guys? I love you for watching. I'll see you next time. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>